In this video, we're going to be talking about how to reframe and edit 360 footage using the Insta360 app. Now the app runs exactly the same on your phone, your iPad, on your desktop. I use the iPad because I prefer the bigger screen and it's more portable. I'm on the road most of the time, so I do most of my editing outdoors or in the car. Okay, so after you've shot some footage with your 360 camera, the first thing you do is connect your camera up to the app. And you can edit your footage directly from your camera, or you can download it to your device. Now the first thing to do is you get to choose your aspect ratio. For most applications, you'll be using 16 by nine, but there's also an option to use nine by 16 if you're doing YouTube shorts or Instagram reels, and there are other options as well. Now let's talk about reframing in the app. Now one of the really great things about 360 cameras is the flexibility that you have for reframing your shots in post. And it's this aspect of the editing process that a lot of people think is gonna be really, really complicated, but it's actually really simple. As you can see, you can move your footage around the full 360 spectrum. You add a keyframe by simply tapping on the timeline. And if you want the camera to move, you do so by just adding more keyframes as you move the camera around. So for example, Here's a shot of me inside the car. Now, if I want to take this, turn the camera right the way around, show you the road ahead of me, and then turn the camera back again to face me, all I have to do is input some keyframes onto the timeline like this. If we just go back on the timeline to before those keyframes and play it back, this is the result. You have manual control over all the settings like saturation, exposure, shadows and highlights, etc. And there are also a number of presets installed in the app which behave kind of like LUTs when you apply them to your footage. Now I mentioned earlier that the app works just as well on the phone as it does on your iPad, so I'm going to switch over to the phone now to show you another really cool feature, which is the tracking feature. If you fly drones that have a tracking feature, you'll be familiar with how this works. You simply tap on the screen and draw around the subject that you want to track and then you hit start tracking and it'll just track the subject for you automatically like this. The Insta360 app does a really good job of this. Okay, that's it. It's that simple to reframe and edit your footage in the Insta360 app. We're gonna be taking more of a deep dive into the Insta360 app and showing you some of the cool tricks that you can do with it in some future videos. So if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.